Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Are you following me on Twitter yet? Twitter.com slash Chris Perillo, at Chris Perillo. Of course, I've included the link over my YouTube page, and you know it's on my blog, Chris.Perillo.com. I'm, I'm on Twitter, as is everybody else, except for you, quite possibly. Let's say you wanted to create your own Twitter-like website. Only you wanted to gear it toward a specific kind of audience. Say, gamers. You wanted to create a Twitter, but for gamers. How are you going to do it? You can program it uh, on your own. Uh, you could use open source software like Laconica. Or you may just want to shout them. Shout them. Dot com and uh, this is the uh, website that's here behind me that's the word shout em dot com shout em see shout em here you need me to zoom in closer fine shout em shout em so what I decided to do is create my own little shout em specifically for gamers let me zoom out again here go to gamers dot shout em dot com and and there you could register as a gamer. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't even know if that many... I, do I have that many gamers in this audience? I don't I don't really know if our community's got gamers. Do they really? And I thought, you know, maybe they could, you know, go to gamers.shoutem.com and, you know, tweet. I guess it wouldn't be that. It'd be shout. You can connect it to your Twitter account so that if you post through gamers or any shoutem service, it will... Uh, automatically post back to Twitter. It also connect to your Windows Live ID if you have one, or your Facebook account using Facebook Connect. And uh, it's pretty much now out there on the web for anybody to use. Gamers.shoutem.com. You can create your own if you wanted to. You could even get your own domain and then just use this service on the back end. So if you're thinking about um, um, something like this, now you know where to turn. Or shout, as the case might be. Don't don't go to Twitter for that, because there's a lot of people on Twitter. This would be for something very specific, very specific. Let me let me hit refresh. Ow, let me hit refresh. See if anybody's registered yet. Uh, wow, holy cow! We have our, our first uh, we have our first shout here. He's not really you know shouting about his games or anything, but it was worth a shot, don't you think? I don't know, if enough people register and sign up, maybe I'll like redirect it to like gamers.lockernome.com or gamers.perillo.com because I could do that then if I pay for that service, but I don't know if I want to pay for it yet because I don't know if that many people really want to use it. But you may, you know, want to or start your own, certainly. That's kind of what the platform is good for. Uh, it's the uh, the first one of these, uh, roll your own, as they say right there in the title, uh, types of uh, microblogging services that I've seen to date, certainly one that uh, you know I wanted to try, I was drawn into. A few templates uh, that'll get you started out of the box, not you know incredibly creative uh, or you know tweakable, but uh, certainly it's something that you don't have to pay for if you don't want to. Get something going. Give it a shot. Shoutem.com or gamers.shoutem.com as well. And you can actually set up more than one network if you wanted to. I don't know if you'd ever want to manage more than one. I, I did create another Shoutem when I was first kind of playing around with it. You can go over to food, food.shoutem.com. This one I thought was fun because then, you know how on Twitter everyone's posting, I just ate a sandwich. My God, just, you know, take it to food.shoutem.com. Now you can post whatever you, there, just, Shout your food. Shovel. Maybe I should call it. Sh no, no, no. Food dot shout em dot. I'm just saying. Give it a shot. I, I love these kinds of uh, um, web services because uh, it gives us a chance to play where we otherwise couldn't play because we couldn't develop a lot of the stuff on our own. You know what I'm saying? I mean, at least I couldn't. I'm not a developer. That's for sure. So there you go. Gamers dot shout em dot com and food dot shout em dot com. Hopefully you don't, you know, mix the two. Because gaming and eating do not go hand in hand. If you don't believe me, you know that bag of potato chips you started eating before you started playing Portal? Yeah, you've already gone through it. In fact, you worn a hole uh, down, uh, you know, the, out of the bottom of the bag there, because you kept. You don't think when you eat. You gotta gotta think when you eat, and you gotta think when you game. But you don't have to think when you surf the web. That much is obvious. 
You certainly don't have to think when you post a comment on YouTube. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Please think before you drop me a line. But if you have any other services to recommend, please let me know. Love to take a look, especially if I haven't heard about it before. And you'd be surprised. Sometimes I hadn't heard about something that you've known about for years. It could happen. And other times I may have heard about it. I'm like, thank you. I'm always very thankful. And I'm very appreciative if you stop by our community of geeks. That's geeks.perillo.com. Running on another fantastic web service of sorts. Then we've also got the chat room that's a part of this live video feed going out over the web 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Typically talking tech, sometimes about food, sometimes about music. I mean, we're geeks. We, we're uh, we're uh, multi-faceted. Not very uh, deep, really, but uh, we like to eat, we like to play, and, and we like to mess around. As I've said before, typically talking tech, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.